Michael, thanks for joining us. Um, the, the City of Hope has been a leader on CAR-T therapy, and um, this is a pretty uh, smart audience that knows CAR-T, but what can you tell them about CAR-T and what it is that they might not know? Sure. Uh, well, first of all, it's largely a therapy for cancer, and uh, it's traditionally thought of as a therapy for blood cancers. Uh, City of Hope does all blood cancers with CAR-T therapy, but it also does about 13 different what are called solid tumors, you know, lung, breast, colon, et cetera. Those are the solid tumors. And so we have an abundance of CAR-T therapies for solid tumors as well. Essentially what it is is you're taking your own immune cells, which aren't working against the cancer, do not see the cancer. You're pulling them out of the body. You're putting them, putting a, a protein in them that makes the, the T cell see the tumor. And not only see the tumor, but traffic to the tumor. So you take them out of the body, grow them up, kind of infect them with a protein that recognizes the tumor, charge them up a bit more, and put them back in the body. And they traffic to the tumor. Then they recognize the tumor, having not previously done so, react, and then, you know, in the best of circumstances, destroy the tumor. Uh, give us a success story. Oh, there, there, there are countless. A dramatic. Uh, dramatic? Yeah. Would, well, um, we have a patient, uh, Raylene Witt, who, you know, kind of a young adolescent, if you will, late adolescent, um, you know, leukemia, failed chemotherapy, the radiation therapy that goes with a bone marrow transplantation, failed a bone marrow transplant from her brother, more chemotherapy. So three times down and out, going to die from this disease on death's door. And we were able to harvest her own T cells and using a homemade uh, CAR, protein that sees the tumor, made at City of Hope, uh, we were able to grow those T cells, jack them up, put the protein in there that we made at City of Hope, and fuse those in her, and watch her go into a complete remission. And then following that, uh, she remained in remission, and we were able to successfully do a, a cord blood, so from the umbilical cord blood transplant. And that was like four years ago. And she remains, you know, alive and well and, and, and fully back to, you know, a normal life, which is, uh, that's what we do, you know, and uh, that's, that's, where, that's where this wonderful development of CAR-T therapy has taken us. City of Hope's done over a thousand of these. So, you know, a lot of times, like in surgery, you ask a surgeon, how many times have you done this? And uh, you don't want to hear twice. Mm -hmm. You want to hear, you know, I've done this 500 times. Well, we've done CAR-T therapy at City of Hope a thousand times. But, you know, one of the top numbers in the country, uh, along with a couple other outstanding centers. And, and that makes a big difference in how people do. One of the big um, moments for, your, for, for you all this year was the acquisi acquisition of Cancer Treatment Centers of America. That's right. And what... Why is that unusual? Why did you do it? How does that change your footprint? Great question. Well, City of Hope, for those of you who don't know, it's, we're in Los Angeles. We're what's considered an academic medical center. We focus primarily on cancer. And we have, you know, you name a cancer, we have a world expert in that cancer. And so if you're an educated consumer, you know you want to go to a comprehensive cancer center. If you're in Los Angeles, you're going to go to City of Hope, maybe another. And you're going to see that expert. But if you're not in one of those you know, populated areas, or if you're not an educated consumer, you, know, you go to your local hospital. And in fact, 80% of people go to their local hospital. And candidly, at this time, things like CAR-T therapy, um, which don't involve chemo, don't involve radiation, don't involve surgery, but can be curative, aren't available in those community hospitals. So one of the things that we're trying to do at City of Hope is really what we call democratized care, right? A term being used widely now. But that is see to it that our innovation from City of Hope gets to the community. And so there are different ways to do that. We all have what are called catchment areas. Say, for example, African Americans in Los Angeles, in our catchment, City of Hope, where we are in Duarte, about 9%. Well, in acquiring Cancer Treatment Centers of America, which we've acquired three community hospitals and about 13 outpatient practices in Chicago, in Atlanta, in Phoenix. So you go to Atlanta, you got 33% African American population. So we've now exported CAR-T therapy into this community. 
and uh, first did our first CAR T uh, in the Chicago Cancer Hospital successfully. And so the idea is rather than to ask people from all over the country to come to you, your specialized area, difficult, expensive, travel, et cetera, you know, bring the therapy to them. So the idea was to really broaden our catchment of who we can serve with our innovative therapies, now all part of City of Hope. What challenges have there been in sort of a, in an academic institution making this acquisition? Has it been as smooth as you? Well, City of Hope is uh, an amazing organization. It's a private organization. It's one of the few in the country that has no affiliation with a university. Hmm. So we're not, and there's wonderful things that come from being at a university, of course. I was at another organization, another cancer hospital, another university. There are benefits. But one of the advantages of being free from a uh, university is you're free from a lot of the bureaucracy and a lot of the competition that goes on for what do we do. You know, you have this department, that department, this school, that college. We're City of Hope. We do cancer, do some diabetes as well, but we do cancer. And so when, you know, the opportunity to acquire Cancer Treatment Centers of America came along, we do cancer, we're in great financial shape, and we said, this is going to change how we get our care across the country. We're going to be a national health system now focused in cancer as opposed to uh, a uh, unique academic medical center in Los Angeles. So. That sounds like a dream, no red tape, right? Yeah, no red tape. And think of it <clears throat> from the point of view of if you're like a, if you have innovative trials yourself, you want to get them as far as wide as you can. If you're a pharmaceutical company, you don't want to go only to City of Hope. Your goal is going to be to get to those 80% of people that are in the community. So now we have a single IRB across four states in the country to bring any pharmaceutical trial that we wish to City of Hope, and we get them activated within 87 days out to three different sites across the country, as I say, Atlanta, Chicago, Phoenix, but also Orange County, where we just did a billion dollar campus as well, as well as uh, Duarte. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a phenomenal place uh, for me to work because of our ability to, to move with speed. Let me, um, in our two minutes left, left, let me ask you your sort of biggest hope and dream for the future of CAR-T, not just for you all, but for humankind. Well, you know, there, it's a, uh, think of it, how many, 200 years of surgery, 100 of radiation, 70 or 80 of chemotherapy, small molecules, 20. We're in the first 10 years of really seeing CAR-T, but City of Hope's been at CAR-T therapy for 20 years. And so we've got extraordinary experience. And what we're seeing is a decrease in some of the side effects. We're also expanding our repertoire to include like natural killer cells and other immune effector cells. And so, what I believe will happen a lot, lot through City of Hope is that CAR-T therapy will move closer and closer to the forefront where when someone hears those three words, you have cancer, rather than thinking of the dreaded maybe surgery or radiation or chemotherapy, they're thinking not of those as dreaded but of the toxicities associated with those, will be thinking immune therapy for 20 different cancers first and or in combination with um, milder forms of chemotherapy, or radiation therapy, or surgery. So that's where I think it's going to go. And we're in, just think of how long these other modalities have been in place. We're in our infancy. And being at City of Hope is, uh, has been an exciting place to see this launch successfully and now move across the country.